Okay, so um, this is a little tutorial on using what's called MK links, and um, primarily it'll be used, for example, in my case, because I'm a Steam user. And what Steam likes to do is throw all of your games into the Steam Apps folder, and then under the common, and here's all the games, my Steam games that I have installed, and they're on the desktop there. And basically, uh, in my case, I have a solid state hard drive, uh, an 80 gigabyte one, so I can't put all the games. This is actually, a, I think it's 75 gigabyte folder. Um, but I have my D drive, which is a terabyte worth of space, so obviously I'm, I'm only able to put all my games there. Uh, but you know, I want to have a few games at least on my solid state drive, and they'll run a little faster. Well, the games won't run faster, but loading's faster. Um, you know, some games have that little pause when it saves, you know, at checkpoints and stuff. It pretty much eliminates that, so it just gives you a little bit smoother experience in a game. So I don't put a lot of them there. If you look, games, I only have three. Um, now, the Crisis 2 demo is the one I'm going to be doing right now. Um, I actually had a little issue trying to record this video um, pretty much right just before. Um, so I already have the file copied over. Uh, but I'll just kind of go through that. So right now, um, I've already used MKLink once, and I'll get into a bit more as we go here, but uh, my Steam folder is on my solid state drive. Um, the reason for that is just it helps it load up faster. I usually put all my little, my little apps and, well, as you can see, quite a few things, program data. I've got, um, sorry, not program data, program files. You know, I got my Adobe Photoshop on here. You know, uh, DivX, Divity Maker, iTunes, um, just a bunch of different little things, NetBeans, whatever. And uh, you know, one of the great things of having a solid state drive is this the speed. I mean, yeah, I do have a pretty fast processor, right? You can see the um, Turbo Boost monitor kind of going crazy here. Um, that's just from recording right now. Um, that's the only reason there's any usage. Uh, we can go here and processes. Yeah, so it's all fraps, just using up some some performance here. Um, so anyway, uh, the, it's not really meant to be a solid state drive tutorial here, but you can see iTunes and it's open. So you know it's pretty fast. I'm sure anyone out there who's running on hard drives good luck having it open that fast. And that was kind of slow because I've got some processes used up right now, but uh, yeah. So, MK links. My Steam folder is on my solid state drive right here. You see this little thing that's uh, indicative usually of, uh, say, a shortcut, such as pretty much everything on my desktop has a little shortcut icon. Um, and that's because I've actually already MK linked the Steam Apps folder right here onto my media drive. So the process is simply move Steam. Um, well, depends how you do it. I actually had Steam here, move Steam onto the solid state, but I left this folder here and then I linked it out. So if I browse, I'm browsing to Steam from the C drive, I can open up Steam Apps and voila, it's everything here. It shows it on my C drive. It thinks everything's right there, but the fact of the matter is it's right here. It's on this drive. and. It, um, it it kind of confuses the system, you might say. Uh, so you go properties, it thinks it's on C, and it thinks it has all the space, but it doesn't actually use up that space. It couldn't. As you saw there, that's what, 72 gigabytes? If it was actually using up space on C drive, I would be hooped, because I only have a 74 gigabyte drive. So it's not happening. That's not the case. It's linked to here. And as you uh, saw when I already went through, oh, I might as well just go through here. These three are then linked back out. So they're linked. I put them in my little games folder here, right here. Uh, now I, I might as well, since I already did this and then I'm undoing it now, uh, deleting or undoing what you did is extremely easy. You simply select it and delete it. Done. That's it. It still exists here, and I could transfer this back if I felt like it. I'm not going to, of course, because that would just be a waste of a little bit of time. But that's all that you have to do. Now, how do you make your link? So, here you have to go to your command prompt. And what you can do if you want to see a little 
um, how to, well not how to, but how to use it. Uh, you just type in mklink and it says it creates a symbolic link. So here's the format mklink space slash d h or j with their explanations here space link space target. So d h and j are just the different um, types of links you can make. Um, symbolic link for a file, uh, a hard link I believe that's also for a file. I'm not 100% sure. I don't know if it can be used with a directory or not but what I use is J, creates a directory junction. Uh, and then your link would be uh, where you're coming from and the target would be where you're going to. So in this case, my link would be within the Steam Apps folder, where, uh, whereas my target is going to be in this folder right here, Games Crisis 2 Demo. So let's do it. I'm going to be coming from the D drive right here. Um, I don't believe I can call, call up the link as being C drive Steam apps um, because that's already linked. I'm, I'm not sure, but that would make it pretty convoluted and I don't feel like going there, so I'm going to do it the, the proper way. MKLink space forward J space my link that'll be, and I'm going to use quotation marks because there's a space within the crisis folder name and it just kind of, it's always a good idea to just use quotation marks so it's coming from my D drive backslash uh, steam apps backslash common backslash crisis to dash demo and then we'll end the quotation marks uh, let me just verify that one oh, yeah okay so that's good that's how it is um, now space and then my target so my targets gonna be on the C drive here, it's going to be right. This is my target. So we go back here. I'll use quotations again. C backslash games backslash crisis to dash dash demo. And that should work. Let's find out. Hit enter. Junction created. So as you saw, I already deleted it. And now if we go back to the Steam Apps common folder, there's the junction right there and you'll see it's also available through through this the uh, the real the real folder not this junction folder so that's pretty much all there is to it it works fine um, so I can close this close this and you can see crisis 2 demo this works absolutely perfectly loads up um, unfortunately crisis 2 Sorry, let me close that. Crisis 2 actually doesn't work. Ooh, didn't mean to open that. Uh, must hit the hotkey on my keyboard here. Close window. So Crisis 2 doesn't actually work for me right now. I can't log into it, but that's a whole nother matter. Um, the demo was just released today, so I'm hoping to get that playing. But anyway, uh, that's my little tutorial on MK Links, and I hope that you know helps some people out there. So good luck, have fun.